Hey guys, Josh here from Sportitude Running, and today we are going to be talking all things versatile running shoes. Now, we're fast approaching the halfway point of the year, June 2023, and it's a great time to talk to you, the running community, about versatile trainers. And essentially, in front of us, we have right now is five of what we feel to be the very best options for you, the running community out there. So in today's review, we'll talk about them individually, why they've come into the versatile conversation, give you all the information that you need at home to, who knows, maybe make your next shoe purchase. So let's get stuck in. Before we jump into the review itself and discuss the tech features of every single running shoe, let's talk about what actually makes a versatile shoe a versatile shoe. So what we do with that is we throw this phrase out quite often downstairs amongst our team here at Sportitude Running. If you were going to go on a holiday and you're heading away for four weeks, you had one running shoe to take, what would it be? Now, the reason we throw that out is because a versatile shoe needs to be able to cover you from your mileage running right through to your speed days and potentially even be used for a race as well. Now, when you're talking about versatility, technically speaking, every single road running shoe can be used as a versatile shoe. You can use a good soft mileage shoe um, for speed work and you can use a lighter speed shoe for some mileage running. However, what we do tend to find is your heavier shoes don't tend to be quite as poppy and your lighter shoes don't tend to be quite as stable. So this versatile category really does play across all areas of your running program requirements. So how we've um, come to this top selection, well, obviously we've discussed this amongst ourselves. We had some conversations with great trusted uh, um, customers of ours and also had some conversations with allied health professionals out there. And we've grabbed this top selection of shoes for you in this versatile category. So let's get stuck in. So number one in our most versatile shoes for 2023, in my hand, I hold the Endorphin Speed 3. Now this shoe is probably or arguably the most versatile shoe currently on the market right now. It's light without being unstable, it's cushion without being heavy, and it is certainly snappy without being too stiff. This shoe here is a very popular shoe um, across the running community, and we have a lot of runners sort of gravitating towards this shoe as for the reasons I just discussed. Now, it's also a great shoe for someone who can't tolerate a carbon plate or is looking for their first plated shoe. It has an EVA plate injected into the midsole, so it does have a snappy feel, but it's not overly stiff like you would find with your carbon plate shoes. The other great thing about this shoe is the upper, while it is light and refined, it actually is pretty structured as well. So a good heel counter, great saddle hold, and obviously the forefoot is nice and generous as well. Okay, taking a deeper dive look at the specs of this shoe, we have Power Run PB midsole, a very soft, resilient, springy foam from Socony. It's on a relatively generous heel to toe offset of eight millimeters. And how we measure that is obviously the height of the heel and the height of the forefoot, 36 heel, 28 at the forefoot, and a good light option as well. 229 grams in a men's size nine and around 204 grams for a ladies size seven. So to circle back, why this made it into our top selection? Well, it is light without being unstable, it's cushioned without being heavy, and it is snappy without being too racy, if that makes sense. Now, the shoe itself, we know a lot of people here at, uh, around the Sportitude running community use this shoe from everything from longer runs to shorter, quicker runs, and we've even seen a lot of people PB on race day in this shoe. It is a fantastic option for those of you out there looking for a versatile shoe that can pretty much do it all. Shoe number two in our top selection is the ASICS Nova Blast. Now, this shoe has been versatile for a few years now, and nothing has changed with this product. The great thing about this shoe is it is cushioned underneath the foot, but it's cushioned on a very light package. So a runner who's coming from a gel nimbus that, or something along those lines with their mileage training and wants something a little bit more versatile on a lighter pack but likes that cushioning, the Nova Blast 3 is certainly a shoe you should be considering. Taking a deep dive look at the tech, we have an 8mm offset, 31 in the heel and 23 in the forefoot. Flight, foam, blast, plus technology injected through that midsole. A jacquard mesh upper and also an AHAR plus rubber outsole configuration. As we touch on, the shoe is very light, and a lot of that is to do with elements that have sort of been reduced or removed out of this shoe. So not an overly complicated outsole, as we touched on, and being a single-density foam midsole, it is nice and light, relatively responsive, as we touched on, but the great thing about this shoe, it's mostly popular because of its cushioning element.
Let's take a deeper dive look at the tech and the stats on this shoe. So we have Flight Foam Blast Plus technology injected through the midsole, and all of that is on a 31 millimeter heel and a 23 millimeter forefoot for that offset of eight mil. We've got a relatively minimalistic outsole AHAR rubber on use and a jacquard mesh upper. Now, the reason this shoe has made it into this top selection for versatility is purely and simply because it is a very light, but a cushioned shoe. So if you're someone who's transitioning from your daily trainer, something like a gel Nimbus or a 1080, for example, you like that soft, spongy feel under your body and you want it on a like or in a lighter package, Nova Blast 3 is certainly one you should be considering. The third shoe in our top five is none other than the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainer. Now, this shoe here is more cushioned in regards to the other categories we're going to talk about today with the excessive amount of fuel cell foam underneath the foot. With the Energy Art Carbon Plate, this shoe does provide a nice, stable, and smooth transition through entry to mid starts. But the roll through the forefoot with that carbon plate makes it a nice, snappy release through your toe off as well. Take a deep dive, look at the stats of this shoe. We have quite a lot underneath the foot, 47 mil on the heel, 39 on the forefoot for that offset of eight millimeters. Fuel cell foam underneath the body, so a really soft but spongy and responsive foam on offer. The other thing about this shoe too is it's got a relatively durable outsole on offer across the border, both medial lateral and the heel of the shoe. And also the upper is very breathable, but also quite techy in regards to how the foot feels in the heel counter and how that saddle feels through the mid starts. Because with this shoe, there is a higher stack. There is that carbon plate injection to the midsole. The upper plays an important part in keeping your foot on top of the platform. The reason the Fuel Cell Supercomp Trainer has made it into the top selection today is because it is a slightly more stable cushioned um, shoe in this versatile conversation. The others are certainly lighter, but this shoe here is a great shoe for someone who wants that speed feel but needs more protection under the body. While downstairs here at Sportitude running across the running community, we would find this shoe to be certainly more used for runners looking for that easy trainer on the weekends. We have found great success with this shoe for someone looking for that extra cushioning, extra support, but in a speed package so they can get a little bit more out of the shoe by putting their foot through that midsole to engage with that carbon plate. The other thing too is we have sold this shoe to a number of triathletes, long distance triathletes, 70.3 and Ironman athletes who are wanting a little bit more under the foot, but wanting and expecting that race feel experience underneath the body as well. Okay, number four in our most versatile shoes for 2023, I hold in my hand the Ultra Vanish Tempo. Probably the surprise packet in our opinion here at Sportitude running of this category. The shoe itself is certainly very light. It's extremely comfortable. That slim foot shape through the forefoot allows a little bit more splay and wriggle room in your toe box. And the midsole with the Ego Pro technology on offer is actually a good resilient offering underneath the body. Had everyone use this from some good easy days out in the road to your speed days on the footpaths as well. Very comfortable, very light and very snappy. Let's take a deep dive look at the stats. First things first, we have the Ego Pro midsole on a 33 mil stack in the heel, 33 mil stack in the forefoot. So you do the math, it is a zero drop shoe. Do not be alarmed, that slim fit foot shape through the forefoot allows wriggle room through the front half of your toe box, which allows your foot to splay, engage and release on a nice stable platform. The other thing about this shoe, which plays into why it's versatile, it is light. 232 grams in a men's size 9, 195 grams in a ladies size 7. And as I touched on, the reason it is in this top conversation for versatile shoes is purely and simply because if you're a runner that likes or tolerates a slightly lower drop and is looking for something that's pretty resilient out in those on the road for the long days, but wanting something that's going to be snappy as you pick up the pace, this shoe is certainly one to consider. Okay, the last shoe, rounding out our top five for versatile shoes for 2023, an old favorite of mine, the Hoka Mark V. Now, this shoe has had some ups and downs over the years, but what we have found with the Mark V is it is a very comfortable shoe on the foot. So what we get with this shoe is we get a nice cushion feel under the body, but it's all in a light package, so it's quite easy to pick up the pace with this shoe. Let's take 
take a deep dive, look at the stats. Five mil offset, 30 mil on the heel, 25 in the forefoot, 232 grams in a men's size nine and around 192 grams in a ladies size seven. This shoe speaks right to that consumer looking for that light but cushioned package. The shoe itself with the Profly midsole and the rubberized EVA sort of plays into the same piece of technology. So therefore, we've sacrificed a little bit of weight by having that rubberized EVA. So therefore, getting that reduction in weight, you may find the shoe itself to not be quite as durable as the Clifton, it's mainly due to the fact that it's lower drop, but or lower stack, pardon me, but that rubberized EVA doesn't quite have the durability that the Clifton holds. Jacquard mesh upper so what you get with jacquard mesh you get a good strong stable controlled upper but a nice breathable configuration which is exactly what you want with your road shoes as we touched on the reason it's in this category is because it's cushion but it's light and when you're talking about a category of shoes this shoe here has spoken to that runner for a number of years from the hoka offering while it's not the lightest in this offering and it's certainly not the most cushioned it plays to that runner who's liking something to be easy on the foot for your long day but also nice and light for you to pick up the pace. Quite a consistent theme here with regards to the versatile shoes, but the Hoka Mark is something that I would consider for a runner transitioning from a Clifton, wanting that fit and feel, but in a lighter package. So there you have it, guys, the top five shoes for the front half of 2023. We have tried to cover every single category within that category, if that makes sense, from your cushion to your light and your race and everything in between. So guys, if you have a versatile shoe in your rotation now and it's not in front of us here, let us know in the comment section below. Alternatively, if you have one of these shoes, we'd love to know how it's going for you for all of your training. But as I touched on, it's a halfway point of 2023, and I know that you guys are out there chasing those PBs, enjoying your running. Let's make the back half of 2023 just as enjoyable. So until next time, stay safe, be kind to one another, happy running, and we'll see you out on the road. Take care.